this is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today we're going to put together a quick arrangement as a buffet type centerpiece. What I started with is just a plastic urn. It actually has a little plastic bottom on it. Um, I've placed a block of fresh floral foam that has been soaked down into my container and I filled the reservoir with water. I'm taking a little bit of waterproof tape and I'm taping that foam into place. And I'm going to cross over the foam so it's kind of crisscrossed. It's taped in two different places. So there we have the foam taped into place. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a little bit of leather leaf um, fern. I'm gonna remove any pieces that don't look nice and I'm going to go all the way around in this container and green out the base of this arrangement. I'm using my floral knife and I'm cutting that greenery at an angle and I am just adding greenery all the way around. So what you're wanting to do with your greenery is just be sure that you're covering your, your foam so it covers it all the way around. And then I am going to actually, I'm taking this leather leaf and I'm cutting it into smaller pieces. And I'm just going all the way around covering that fresh floral foam. And if there's any, that one's not good, throw it away. The wonderful part about leather leaf is it, it's very easy to separate and to use in several different insertions. Okay, so there's my leather leaf. Next I'm gonna come in with a little bit of myrtle. So my myrtle is, um, it's a, look, that's one, one stem of myrtle right there. Isn't that crazy? So myrtle is, this is like a branch. Honestly, I don't know if I've ever seen myrtle growing, but now I'm going to do exactly like I did that leather. I'm going to pop it in half. I'm just breaking it in half. So I have two separate um, pieces that I can add to my arrangement. I'm pressing the top half of that myrtle right into the top of that arrangement. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to break it in half again. So I have two more pieces, tuck this piece over to one side, and my third piece, try to cut it at an angle. It's really, really woody. And then I'm going to tuck my third piece over in. I have, okay, so that's all the myrtle I have. Next I'm going to come in with some um, holly fern. So holly fern, if you look at it close, it really looks like a branch from a holly tree. I'm going to go around and add just a little bit of the holly fern just to give us a different texture of foliage. All right. There we go. So there's our greenery in our container. Next, we're going to come in with some flowers. So the flowers I have are maroons and whites. I'm gonna start out with my moms. So I have, these are called cushion moms. Cushion moms are, um, they are spray moms, kind of like a daisy, except they, they have, um, they don't have that little yellow center like a daisy. They are just all petals. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with one and give it some height in our arrangement. So I'm starting out with this one as a line. So it's going to go in the top. It's going to give us some height. Okay. The next one I'm actually going to take and cut in half. Let's see if I have some snips in here. And I do. I'm going to cut it in half so I have two separate stems to work with. So I cut it in half. And there's a few places where the blooms have broken. I'm just going to trim off those stems. And I am going to use this one down deep into the arrangement. 
And then the next part of that stem, it's going to be up a little higher in the container. So what we're going to do is this is just going to fill up this arrangement with really pretty inexpensive blooms. I'm going to do the same with the next one. Cut that in half. Tuck him in deep. And then add these smaller buds kind of higher into the container. Now the wonderful part is when you do this, you get, you feel like you get more um, flowers for your money. And you can see I'm really filling up that arrangement with those moms. Now this one doesn't have quite as many blooms, so it's only going to be a one, one cut. Okay. So there are all of our cushion moms added into my arrangement. Next we're going to come in with some larger moms. This is just a, um, a large, I'm not sure, it's not really a football. Uh, it's kind of, I don't even know, I, ca I can't name the variety exactly, but it's just a large white mom. So we're going to take it and add it right in to this arrangement just as a big focal flower. And I have five of those stems, so you can see I'm just turning and everywhere that we need, we need a flower. I've got some maroon roses, so I'm going to tuck one here. And I'm just using that floral knife. I'm cutting that stem at an angle. Whoops. And I'm just tucking that right in. The nice thing about moms is they're not terribly expensive flowers and you feel like you get a lot for your money and they last. They last a long time. All right. So there are our large moms tucked in. I have three white hydrangeas, so we're going to take our hydrangeas. I'm going to pull my little plastic sleeve off, and I'm going to pull off any of the foliage. Now, the reason I pull the foliage off is so that the water will go directly to the head and not and can bypass any of the foliage, right? I'm going to take my floral knife. I cut that stem at an angle, and I'm going to dip it in quick dip about seven seconds or so, and I am going to tuck these kind of deep into the arrangement, kind of tucked deep. I got to sneeze, and I set it, and so it went away. That was nice. <laughs> so I'm going to take and remove that foliage, cut it at an angle, dip it in my quick dip. There's an empty space right back here. Tuck him right into that floral foam. Okay, and I have one more stem. I think he's going to go low right back here. There's an empty spot here. Cut that stem at an angle. Dip it in the quick dip. You got it. Looking a little awkward. All right, so there's our hydrangeas and all of our mums. To give us a little bit of maroon, I took these Aurelia leaves and I painted them maroon. I used some floral paint um, called Design Master Paint and I painted those maroon. And I'm going to take my floral knife, cut my stem at an angle, and just tuck these big, pretty maroon leaves right down into this arrangement. I'm going to go all the way around. These are such fun leaves to work with. Give us a little bit of that pretty maroon color that we needed. Mm -hmm. 
Now, you can paint foliage with really any kind of paint. You can actually go and buy paint at your local hardware sto store if you want to, to paint foliage. But now when painting flowers, you are going to want to use flower paint that's made specifically for flowers. All right, so there's our maroon leaves tucked in to give us that pretty maroon color. Lastly, we're gonna add some roses. And so, um, the roses that we had are, they're actually a freedom rose. And so, I took my floral paint and I popped them with just a little bit of the Maroon Design Master or Burgundy Design Master. I'm going to take that rose and I'm going to add a um, wire to it. I'm just pressing it right into the calyx, twisting that wire around that stem, cutting that stem at an angle, and tucking these pretty maroon roses right into my arrangement. Now the reason I pop these with a little bit of that um, Burgundy Design Master is because this arrangement really needed maroon versus red. And so I just took that pretty red rose and popped it with a little bit of maroon and that gave us the color that we needed. Tucked that rose right in. The reason you have to paint things maroon this time of year is because most often maroon is a fall color. Um, usually you can, you, it's easy to get in the fall, but it's not really a summer or spring color. And so not many people need a, a maroon colored flower in the summer or in the spring. But here at Mississippi State, this is our local college color. And so that's why very often we need maroon flowers. So we just buy some Burgundy Design Master paint and it works fabulous. So I'm just taking that floral wire and I'm wiring each of those little roses. And what that's gonna do is just guarantee that their little head stays standing and stay firm. So this arrangement will be used for a buffet, for a luncheon table. We've got one more stem and our arrangement is finished. All right, there is our finished buffet arrangement. So the flowers that we use for this arrangement include cushion mums. Um, we included, I had five cushion mums, I had five of the large variety of mums, I had three of the white hydrangeas, I had seven red roses, and then we just used foliage. So very simple, but very pretty and works perfect for the maroon and white flowers. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon. If you have any questions about how we make flower arrangements, Please don't hesitate to ask that down below. If you like these videos, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to check us out over on Facebook, we do live videos there every day. Have a great evening.